It is America Recycles Week, and it turns out that we may actually be doing it all wrong. Keith Harrison, CEO of the Recycling Partnership, joins us with some important facts and advice. It's nice to have you on, Keith. Thanks for having me. What are the biggest challenges facing our recycling system today? Well, number one is citizen trust. They need to make sure that they trust that when they take the time to put that material in the recycling bin, that it turns into something new. That's where our nonprofit works all across the country to help communities offer stronger recycling programs so that citizens know that it's worth their effort. And then we can get to the important parts of how to do it better. Things like make sure that you put your recyclables into the bin loose and clean, never bagged and never dirty. Right. And who do you think should be responsible for making these types of changes and other ones? Well, it's everyone from the citizen up, but it's also the companies who make the materials. Many of us have heard corporate pledges around recycling or other environmental challenges. And when you hear those, it's important to stop and really see what is that company doing to uphold their pledge? How are they walking the walk? Uh, companies fund us as a way of walking the walk, and to date, they've pledged more than $107 million that we've turned right around into grants for communities and states, states to make stronger recycling programs. Right, and so how is the Recycling Partnership actually addressing these challenges with the help of these producers? So we, as a national nonprofit, work on everything from working with them on design. What changes could they make around a packaging or around a product to make it more recyclable, all the way through to making sure that citizens can recycle. It feels universal, but the truth is only half of Americans can recycle at home as easily as throw something away, and we're out to fix that. Well, we're looking for more resources for people. So what is out there? Say you don't have the option where you live to recycle. You could always opt to take it somewhere else. So what should people do? Well, first, companies are, are listening to your voice right now. Consumer concern around plastics and recycling has never been higher. And your voice uh, is really magnified. So if, if something matters to you, make sure that your favorite brand knows about it. And then second, check locally to see what you can do. So you can Google your local community program, or you can go to our site, which is itsallyou.org. There's plenty of hacks and pro tips there to make sure that you are a stellar recycler. Every little piece counts. Keith Harrison, thanks so much. It does. Stay where you are. We'll be right back.